When you're juggling work and family, you need a dish that's super simple to rustle up. I want to make a curry, a really beautiful, fragrant curry, but I want to do it in such a way that it's surprising and exciting. And do you know what? It's just a handful of ingredients, right? I've got ginger garlic chili. There's always an onion or that family in the house and then yogurt, rice, standard stuff. In the freezer, I always have sustainable prawns. These I've just put in a bowl of water for five minutes, defrosted them, they're fantastic. So I'm gonna do an amazing rice cake, right? It's gonna blow your mind. So, one builder's mug of basmati rice into a pan, and then two of the same mug of water, right up to the top. So in we go. Get that on full whack, super easy. Season it with a little pinch of salt. So bring this to the boil, cook it for about 10 or 12 minutes until the water's cooked away. And when it has cooked away, turn it down to low for five minutes, then it will go crispy and golden. Super simple. Let's get onto the curry. Take four cloves of garlic and finely slice it. And we're on to the curry pan. Put some olive oil in there and then go in with these wonderful fragrant ingredients bit by bit. So garlic in, so about one, one and a half chilies. Always check how hot they are, because they can catch you out every now and again. Nice thumb-sized piece of ginger. Just get a little spoon and scrape the skin off. And then just finely slice the ginger, just nice little chunks like that. So that goes into the pan. Look at the colors. Give that a little toss. And then spring onions. Just cut one bunch into like two centimeter chunks. Sprinkle that in. Right, then we're gonna go in with a good friend, right? Mango chutney. You want a couple of nice tablespoons going in there. So, if you look at the rice, the water's now gone. You've got the little holes here, and now we turn it down low. Five minutes, don't rush it, and you'll go from standard rice to rice cake. So I'm just gonna steal half of this into here, and then about 150 mils of water, and this will make the most incredible sauce. So, let me go and whiz this up. Now, this is the time when we can go in with our prawns. I left just one or two prawns whole with their heads on. The rest, I just peeled the shell. A nice couple of handfuls in there. Look at that. I'm gonna wash my hands. So, the sauce goes in now. A Couple of minutes and that's good. So just take your rice and then just flip it like that. Can you see how crispy that is on the top? Right, the sauce. Turn the heat off here now, and then about 150 grams of yogurt like that. Just give it a little shake and just pour. Gorgeous. Easy prawn curry with a lovely rice cake. Get in there and just break it open. And if you look in this, you know, you've still kind of got the fluffiness and the steam stuff inside. See how lovely and steamy that is? It's going for the prawn. Look at the colors, guys. The colors are bonkers. It's just blooming brilliant. Come on, more sauce, more sauce. Let's just do a little bit of poppadom action. A little bit of salad on the side for a bit of crunch. That is a beautiful plate of prawn curry. Rice cake galore. Come on, let's do this. Mmm. Gentle. Fragrant, loads of flavors. Prawns, lovey. It's joyful. Really, really joyful. I'm happy. So happy. Right, I'm gonna go and serve this to the family. I think they're gonna love it.